All right, oops. There we go. Um, so, um, this one, uh, I, I actually did a CDP cooling video, but I wanted to go ahead and redo it because I wasn't real happy with that one. So, this is a redo of the CDP cooling video. All right. Um, yeah, um, I need to get a whiteboard again, too. It'd be easier to explain some of this stuff. But anyway, uh, the chemistry of CDP choline is, um, it's, uh, it's choline, of course, and it's, uh, yeah, it's called, it's cytidine, and they're, uh, bound together by two phosphate groups. So, cytidine and choline, two phosphate groups, bind them together. That is CDP choline, all right? And uh, what happens is, uh, it, and it's really, um, the only other thing that I have to say about it chemically is it's really soluble in water, okay? And what happens is, uh, when you take it, it's very bioavailable. What happens is, in the intestine, it gets broken down, usually. It gets broken down into this cytidine and choline. And then, in a lot of places, it gets... Uh, a lot of it gets uh, re-synthesized. Uh, it gets put back together after, you know, it's in your system, like in the liver and other tissues and stuff. In the nervous system, uh, it is often... But here's the thing. Um, like in rats, uh, like, it gets used a lot, really, as like cytocholine... I'm sorry, choline and um, acetidine. In people, it actually it works a little bit differently. The important thing is that the citidine gets converted into uridine. And um, the uridine and the choline are the two things. So, uh, let me back up a little bit here. Uh, C CDP choline is actually something, it's, um, it's found all over in the animal kingdom. It's, it's in people, it's in, you know, it's in like all of our cells, like most, oh, I don't know if it, it's in, you know, cells all over the place. It's like, you know, it's, it's really, it's like a nutrient. It's not, you know, some synthetic thing. You know, this is, we're talking something that's in your bodies. Uh, the significance of it is that it is um, an intermediate in the, uh, the uh, synthesis of uh, phosphatidyl choline. And um, what happens is, uh, it's actually like the rate, it's the product of the rate limiting step in that. So, uh, it, it, this is really like the bottleneck, all right? So, uh, sometimes people, you know, it's a little off topic, but phosphatidylcholine is actually also something that people supplement with. Um, but, uh, not going to get into that right now, of course. But, uh, yeah, so the CDP choline then is, um, you know, you can already maybe see the significance of this. Uh, and indeed, actually, one of the things about it that's really important is that it is good for uh, helping to maintain, well, build up and preserve the, uh, the structure, the, um, the membranes, you know, the phospholipid components of the membranes in our central nervous system. So, uh, yeah, uh, that, that part might be a little bit obvious that it would help with that, based on what I told you about it, you know, being an intermediate in the synthesis of phosphatidylcholine, but it actually does much more than that. And I could go on and on, it's actually, it does a lot of things. It's um, important in the synthesis of, uh, let's see, uh, nucleic acids, uh, proteins, um, acetylcholine, neuro, very important neurotransmitter. And uh, also, when you take it, uh, it, it increases the density of uh, dopamine receptors, specifically D2 and I think D3. And uh, it, to a lesser extent, it also increases the density of uh, acetylcholine receptors. All right, so it does a lot. It does even more than what I told you. Uh, and I can go on and on. And I think I'm going to come back to this in more videos because there's a lot that's been studied about it. And it's been looked at for a lot of different diseases. Alzheimer's, um, traumatic brain injury, uh, various types of ischemia, ischemia, um, like, you know, it's, it's really a pretty solid supplement, I think. Um, now, uh, when I told you about uridine, how it, the, the citidine component of it gets converted to uridine, 
Uh, because of this, there's actually in you know the, the online forums, there's a lot of um, discussion about because uh, people take uridine too. So you know, there's kind of like I don't know a debate maybe if you want to call it about you know, wait, should you take TDP choline or uridine. There's been a lot of uh, speculation that maybe the um, Supplementing with the CDP choline actually might do more in terms of being converted into uridine than, you know, the choline aspect of it. Uh, you know, like, that this, the uridine aspect of it is a lot more important. So, uh, I don't know. I think that's still speculation. I think, uh, I, I mean, I think you're, it's, I would say probably CDP choline would be better. Because, uh... Well, I don't know. I, mean, I guess I shouldn't really say that at this point, because I don't know a whole lot about supplementing with uridine. Uh, so, that, again, that, that's a specific topic, like I'm talking about, that I might have to come back to, because there's a lot to be said about this. But uh, that's basically what CDP choline is. Uh, uh, yeah, I, but I, uh, and it, it's a really safe supplement, and yeah, as you probably expect. I think uh, the highest that's been looked at that, that I know of in, in studies has been like two grams, and that it's still pretty safe. Those like dosing in term dosing two grams at a time, but uh, there there is uh, I think some contraindications for it because of what it does in terms of uh, like adrenocorticotropic uh, hormones like cortisol and stuff. Uh, like it it, it basically. Um, like for major depression, for example, uh, where you can have issues with that, uh, it could actually make matters worse. Uh, diabetes is another one. Uh, but for most people, like healthy people, I wouldn't think that there's anything that you'd have to worry about. The only minor side effect that I know of people who get in high doses is like mild um, like uh, stomach discomfort, uh, that sort of thing. I don't even think like any real nauseous or vomiting type of issues, just mild, you know, sort of discomfort, stomach pains or whatever. And, uh, you know, I've personally taken it and I find it to be uh, a pretty useful supplement. I feel like it gives me um, a nice little kick, like a mental energy. Uh, it's uh, actually, there's another choline supplement I just talked about, Alpha GPC choline, which I said was a very smooth supplement that was very good all around, solid nootropic. And this one, too, I think is in that same league. And there's not a whole lot of nootropics that I've taken so far that I can say that about. So, uh, it is pretty select. I think this would actually make a really great starter nootropic. Just in terms of you're you're probably going to get a good effect from it, uh, and um, you know there's pretty small risk of you know any side effects or issues like that. Just double check, uh, you know, Google around if you have some kind of an issue. And in particular, like I said, if you have like major depressive disorder, that would be something you'd want to look at. Uh, but uh, maybe you know like diabetes or whatever. There, I mean, there might be some other ones, but. Uh, just be be sure that, you know, if you, you don't have some kind of condition that would interfere with it. Otherwise, uh, you know, it's a pretty solid thing that you can play around with to start. And I think it plays well with other things, too. Uh, so, I mean, I, th I think it stacks well. So, uh, but yeah, uh, you know, the mental energy, it just gives me... I feel like my brain, uh, I guess the way I would describe it is it kind of just revs a little bit more, you know, like this... Uh, uh, you know, how do I describe this? Uh, focus, but, uh, yeah, like, it, it, I don't know. I guess, Subjectively, I guess that's how I would say it, like, how it feels. It's my brain, it's like the baseline, it, it it's revving a little higher, you know? that It's like, um, I don't know. I just feel like uh, definitely mental energy, I guess, would be a, light, a little bit more objective, clearer way of putting it. And, and focus, uh, it's solid. I think that, you know, maybe, maybe, like, if you're somebody who kind of wants something, like, things like, you know, amphetamines, like I said, they're, before, those are not real sustainable. Y even if, you know, I, I guess if you have, like, you know, ADHD and you're prescribed it, that's one thing. But if you're just supplementing, 
Uh, if you kind of want to go in that direction and you want something a little more sustainable, then definitely try out CDP Choline first. Like I said, and uh, the other thing about it is because it does work on the dopamine system, it's it's really oh, and it, it raises norepinephrine levels too. I forgot to say that. One more thing that I you know it does, but uh, yeah, because it works on the dopamine system, it uh, actually. I mean, it's actually one of the few sustainable things out there that works on the dopamine system. Uh, Vitex, which I also just did a video on, uh, that also, I forgot to mention in that one, it uh, it works on dopamine, which I mentioned, but it also, I forgot to say, it's also pretty sustainable because, uh, well, I won't get into it, but uh, yeah, so that's another example. But yeah, this one, it, and it works in a different way, and it doesn't really, CDB choline, uh, it's important to note that it, it really doesn't, it, the reason it's sustainable is it's not really hitting receptors like drugs typically do. You know, it doesn't lock into a receptor and then, you know, basically cause it to downregulate because you're using it too much. It, what it does is it, it upregulate, it, it increases the density of the dopamine receptors, so... You know, it, it makes you really more sensitive, basically, to the dopamine that you already have. Very sustainable, very sustainable way to board deal with it. And one of the few things out there. Most things that are out there to help with dopamine are not real sustainable. And uh, also, I'll, since we're on kind of on this topic, I mentioned that it was good for, you know... Varying degrees of evidence for a lot of different diseases. It's being looked at for a lot of different things. But one thing that's actually probably of anything out there that I know of that's got the most evidence for is uh, helping with cocaine addiction. Uh, so helping to repair that dopamine system. So helping, you know, that, that's nice too. Uh, probably not a lot of things out there. I don't know. I haven't looked too much into it. It's, addiction's not a huge interest of mine, but uh, that, I thought I'd throw that out there. If you know anybody who's struggling with cocaine addiction, uh, maybe CDP choline. Just don't get your white powders confused. So, <laughs> so uh, take cocaine instead of CDP choline. Yes! CDP choline's great. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's it. That's pretty much all I have. I've, I've I don't know if I even explained it that much better than my last video, but I think the issue was that maybe factually some of the things in my last CDP choline video were just flat out wrong or not right, quite right. So I uh, wanted to clarify that, and um, I do highly recommend it. I still take it. Uh, I, I have Alpha GPC too. I can't decide which one I want to go with. There's no real reason to take two choline sources, but... Uh, I don't know. I think that's, you know, it's going to be an individual preference sort of thing. you got to see what works for you. Like I said before, you know, you can do all the research in the world for things, but at the end of the day, you've just got to try stuff and see how it works. And you'll even see this in a clinical setting. I mean, you go to the doctor, you get prescribed something, you know, like let's say an antidepressant, and, you know, they might just try different things on you. We don't have a good way yet, really, of knowing what works and what doesn't work. So, yeah, that's it. I just give you a little something to help. If you have anything to add to this or correct, uh, just feel free to do that in the comments. And uh, as always, I am going to put some sources and further reading down in the description. So thanks for watching and be safe with these compounds. I know that, uh, well, yeah, just be safe and uh, have a happy new year, everybody. See ya.